Welcome to Sara's class. Today we are discussing the topic Ohm's law and resistance of the conductor. So we can go to the topic. So for studying the Ohm's law, we are drawing a graph relating this potential difference and current in the circuit. So when we are drawing the graph, we can see that when the current is increasing in the circuit, the voltage also is increasing proportionally to the current. So from this graph, we can see that the V is proportional to I. So V is proportional to I. So the statement of Ohm's law is that at a constant temperature, at the voltage difference between any two points is directly proportional to the current through the circuit. At constant temperature, the potential difference between any two points is directly proportional to the current through the circuit. So this is the proportionality sign. The voltage is directly proportional to the current in the circuit. That means directly proportional means when one quantity increases, the other quantity also will increase. That means when the current increases, the voltage also increases. When the current decreases, the voltage also decreases. That is the meaning of this proportionality sign. Both are directly, the voltage and current in the circuit are directly proportional. So next we have to see, remove this proportional sign. Next we have to remove this proportional sign. So to remove this proportional sign, we are introducing a constant. So this constant R, we are introducing a constant R. So this constant R is known as resistance of the conductor. This constant R is known as resistance of the conductor. So we can write that V is equal to I into R. V is equal to I into R, where R is the resistance, V is the voltage and I is the current. So next from this relation we can find the value of the R. So R is the resistance of the conductor, R is equal to V divided by I. The R is equal to V by I. So next we have to see what is resistance of the conductor. So resistance. So whenever we can see that whenever electron, whenever we own the circuit, what happened? The electrons are flowing in the circuit. So whenever these electrons are flowing in the circuit, there is a opposition force. There is an opposition force to the flow of electron. So this opposition force is known as resistance of the conductor. So every when we are taking any conductor, it is a property. It is a resistance is the property of the conductor. So whenever electrons are flowing in the conductor, there is an opposition force to the flow of the electrons. So that property of the conductor is known as resistance of the conductor. So the equation to find the resistance R is equal to V divided by I. R is the resistance, V is the voltage and I is the current. Next we have to see the unit of the resistance. The unit of the resistance is Ohm. The unit of resistance is Ohm denoted by the symbol this one. Next, we have to see the relation between the resistance and current in the circuit. So from this equation, we can see that R is inversely proportional to I. R is inversely proportional to I. This also we have to understand. This R is inversely proportional to the current. Inversely proportional means when the one quantity increases, the other quantity will decrease. When one quantity increases, the other quantity will decrease. So here, this resistance and current are inversely proportional. So when the current increase in the circuit, what happens? The resistance will decrease. Next, I decreases. What happened to that I decreases? I decreases, what happened to the resistance? Resistance will increase. The resistance will increase. So here, when the I decreases, the R will increase. So here, this must things we have to study about the Ohm's law and resistance of the conductor. So Ohm's law says that at constant temperature the voltage is directly proportional to the current. So from that we get V is equal to I into R, R is equal to V by I where R is a resistance, the unit of resistance is Ohm and the relation between resistance and current are inversely proportional. When the current increases the resistance will decrease. When the current decreases the resistance will increase. So thank you for watching the video. We can meet in next class with resistivity of the conductor and the factors affecting the resistance of the conductor.